So, hey there. Welcome to my, I'm not doing a darn thing except for doing a little house cleaning today video. Polly, you want to be in the video? He said, maybe. Maybe he'll be in the video. <laughs> Y'all know I'm on my winter break and I do a big house cleaning during the 10 weeks that the ice cream shop is closed. I thought you just might want to hang out with me today and do a little house cleaning in our pajamas. I'm in my Pollux Maxi shirt and my silk pajama pants and this is how I like to clean the house. What you doing, Boo? What are you doing, Moo Moo? Oh no, it's a lazy day. But we got cleaning to do, guys. Oh my gosh, y'all gotta quit yawning. We gotta clean the house. I was on TikTok and I saw this woman showing you how to get the scale and the yuck off of your bathroom faucets. And so I didn't have what I needed. I went to the grocery yesterday and I'm doing that right now. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you if it works. And then this afternoon, I'm gonna go out and try to find Dawn Degreaser because I'm dying to tackle the stainless steel hood in my kitchen. Y'all are gonna die when I show you up close all the grease that accumulates on that thing. But anyway, for now, I'm in the bathroom. Let me show you what I'm doing. But you know how you get the scale that builds up underneath there? Take vinegar and put it in a baggie and rubber band it around my faucet. It's been on there 30 minutes, so I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna scrub it with an old toothbrush. So in the TikTok video, when the woman started touching the, ooh, ooh the faucet, ooh. It did work. Can y'all see the the yucky stuff coming off in my water? It's hard to see, but I can see white yucky stuff. It looks like fish tank water. This is Randy's. Can you see all that stuff in there? Look at all that. Gross. But that has come off of his faucet. She said to take this off and use an old toothbrush and Dawn dishwashing detergent. See a little bit of that white gunk. This is a heck of a lot better than it used to be. You all should see the stuff dropping in my sink. I'm gonna show you. I feel like I need something better than that. I'm gonna try the the scrubby end of a sponge. I feel like I needed more grip. See all those little black things? That did come off. It's better, but it's not gone. I feel like if I left that on there for maybe just another hour and give it another try, because I got the outside stuff off, now it's really gotta work on the inside. So I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill my little baggie up with vinegar, put it back on there and let it sit for another hour and then we'll see if we can get it. Oh my gosh, well I just spilled that everywhere. Oh my word, okay. But you know what, I do have some of the buildup like around the base of the faucet. So I'm just gonna let that vinegar sit around there. I'm not gonna wipe it up. I'm gonna add, actually just to add a dab more. Oh my gosh, y'all, I can see this coming off right now. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, if this fixes this, 
my mind blown because I have been using harsh chemicals to try to get this off of here and it never really worked great. I was using that CLR stuff. Vinegar gets this off. I, I cannot believe it. This stuff, see that little, it, it's like a scale buildup, but you can see just from where I poured it on there and brushed it, it's already started to come loose. See that right there? All that came loose instantly. Let's let that sit. 30 more minutes. An hour might be excessive, 30 minutes. What are you doing, you silly, silly goose? Are you rolling in mom's covers? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mm-hmm. It's probably nothing. I'm sure it's nothing. to show you what Pollux did to our bed. So Pollux has started a little thing when nobody's looking. He He's always on our bed, number one, but when nobody's looking, Pollux has started digging on our bed. So here's sweet Pollux. Looks sweet and innocent, right? Sweet and innocent Pollux. Here's our bed that we keep this blanket now on the outside of the bed so that Pollux doesn't tear up our bedspread and I can wash the blanket when needed and it gets covered in hair. So, look at this. Pollux has torn two holes in our comforter. <laughs> Do you know that I'm talking about you, boo? I showed them what you did to mom's bedspread. Maxie, did you do that? You say you didn't do it. You can't even jump up on the bed anymore. Are you sorry about it? You say no. <laughs> All right. You're so darn cute. Moody, do you want to get up here? Come here. I'll put you up here. Come here. There you go. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh. Hold on on here. Then, who knew that a little bit of vinegar and some Dawn would get all of that yuck off of there? Okay, I'm a believer. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to do Randy sink. I'm going to do my shower. And then my guest bathroom is a brand new faucet, so I don't have that problem. I'm going to move into my kitchen. I'm going to do the girls' bathroom. And ooh, this is the kind of stuff that gets me excited. Cleaning things gets me super excited. Are y'all that way? I love it. I think I'm going to finish doing what I'm doing. I'm not getting into serious deep cleaning today. I'm just doing around, I call it. And then I'm going to get dressed. I got some errands to run. And I'm going to go to Menards and try to find this Dawn degreaser. And then we'll see if that works on the kitchen hood. So this is my kitchen faucet. And my faucet comes down like this. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've never really done that. Looked at it. But look at all of that nastiness on there. E. And then on the other side of the kitchen, we have a smaller vegetable sink. Same faucet. Okay, not as bad, but still pretty bad. I have a stainless steel vent hood over our stove, and that thing gets so greasy. And I have never been able to find anything to get the grease off. I mean, I've tried everything. I do the best I can, but it's just never right. It never fully gets the grease off of the hood. And so I'm gonna try 
Dawn degreaser. Apparently, this is a product that is really hard to buy. It's not sold at grocery stores. I went to Lowe's. They didn't have it. I tried to get it on Amazon. You could only buy it in like a six bottle box for $50. I don't need six bottles. So, I started looking around and Menards had it. We have a Menards here. It's about 20 minutes away. But later today, I'm going to get dressed, go to Menards. It showed they had 10 bottles on their shelf. No way was I gonna pay to ship that to my house. It was $10 shipping, not doing it. I'll drive my car out there. I've got a couple errands to do out that way anyway. I'm gonna try to get some Dawn degreaser and see if it will fix my hood. Let me show you the hood. It is a really good thing that I'm short, so I don't really see on top of this thing all the time. I'm just kind of looking up at it and it's just, it's so bad. But I have never been able to just get the grease off of there. It just accumulates grease and yuck. And then in the grease, you get dust. And it's absolutely <gasps> disgusting. <Yeah>. Pollux, <laughs> excuse you. <laughs> Are you hogging your moose? Was that your moose? I know. Oh good, then we don't have to go in far. A oh, breaking, I think I see it. First thing. <laughs> no, I don't. Wait a minute. It's dawn, but it's purple. And it says ha heavy duty degreaser. And it said they had 10 of them on their shelves. <gasps> uh-uh. <gasps> Boom. Wow, well, she's very excited. I'm very excited. This is the stuff. All right, let's check out. Yay, Bernards. Yay for Bernards. Lowe's didn't have it. Kroger didn't have it. Walmart didn't have it. Amazon didn't have it. Bernards had it. You're walking too fast. I wanted to get you in the to be girl right, spotted fine. it before. <laughs> Brecken spotted it before I did. But okay. This is exciting. I am so happy to be back home and in my comfy clothes. Oh my goodness, the wind here is blowing like crazy. I could barely drive. But Brecken and I went to Menards. And they had it! Dawn degreaser. So the next thing I'm gonna do is tackle this hood. But first, we gotta find out how the vinegar did on my kitchen faucets. It's been on there for honestly about two hours, so it should be good, right? But let's find out. So the first thing I noticed when I got home, can you see all of that nasty yuck in the, in the water? It is disgusting. Pieces of the scale are floating around in the water. You can see it. So before I do anything to it, this is what it looks like. You can see the yuck still on there. Oh, it's coming right off. Oh my gosh, look at that. Completely clean. I, there is nothing left on there. Maybe a little bit right there. Look at that. Completely 100% clean. I cannot believe this. The proof is in the pudding that it worked. And if you're anything like me, then you're gonna become obsessed and you're gonna clean your house. I'm glad I figured that out, but I kind of feel silly. Is this something y'all knew about and I just didn't know about it? How can something that simple, just putting vinegar on your faucet heads, do that? I swear, did you know that? Am I the only one who didn't know that? Could tell me in the comments below. Next up, Dawn degreaser on my stainless steel hood. Let me give you a really up close look. Promise not to judge me. Okay, here it goes. See, when you're back here, it looks fine, right? It really does look fine. But when you get up close, E, I'm so sorry, but that's what it looks like. I wipe it, I promise I do, it just does not come off. The grease just builds up and builds up and it cakes up and it just won't come off. 
you can see that this is like eh, kind of caked up here. <laughs> Let's just try a spot first. Lady on TikTok said, wipe it with the paper towel. O-M-G. How is this even possible? Okay, I think it needs a second coat because that's really, really bad. Y'all, that is cutting right through that disgusting grease. Look at that. Mm. Really caked on on the edges. O-M. I mean, I, I cannot quit saying O-M-G. I think it's gonna take a couple of uh, tries at this because the grease was so built up, but it is just cutting right through it. This is just a quick look. No more grease, no more dust, no more dripping. Oh my goodness, look at that. I decided to take out the air filter thingies that go up there and put them in the sink and sprayed them with degreaser. This one has been sprayed, but I haven't done anything to it. But this one, oh my gosh, I just finished scrubbing that with a little toothbrush and a little Dawn and some hot water. Look at the flipping difference. This is unbelievable stuff. Why in the world this Dawn degreaser is not sold in a regular grocery store along with other Dawn products. I will never know, but I had to search high and low for this stuff. So take a really good look at this bottle. The stuff, the chemicals inside are purple. It has a purple label and it says heavy duty degreaser. If you ever see this, buy it. It was $6.50 for this bottle, worth every penny. I cannot believe that vinegar did the job on my faucets and Dawn degreaser. Who knew this existed? Well, now you know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm cleaning and degreasing and scrubbing and cleaning some more and degreasing every little speck of grease I can find in my kitchen. I, I know that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. <laughs> if you're like me, once I get going on cleaning something, I can't stop. Like I just, I, I get in this cleaning mode and it just becomes my thing. And since I've discovered two new fantastic cleaning tools, it is on. It is on tomorrow, y'all. So who is this woman that I saw on TikTok? She's on TikTok and on Instagram. I will put her name in the description box below this video, but here's a snapshot of her TikTok page and her Instagram page. Her name is Vanessa Amaro. Go follow her. So I guess I'll see you in another video and I'll show off my clean kitchen. Happy cleaning! <laughs>